I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome back to Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. Today we look at four false color Landsat images from 1984, 1990, 2000, and 2011, showing agricultural development in northern Saudi Arabia close to the border with Jordan. As the years go by, land cultivation increases using fossil water that accumulated underground when the area received more rain and was covered by a lake several thousand years ago. The fossil water used here for irrigation is up to 20,000 years old, and because of the climatic situation today, the water reserves are not being refilled. In the early 1980s, the only vegetation in the area could be found around the oases. By 2011, large-scale agriculture was providing wheat and corn for the region's growing population. The cropland is divided into circles due to the central pivot irrigation system where the long water pipe rotates around a well at the center. Since no crops can grow in this climate without intensive irrigation, the fields are perfectly round. The false color makes the vegetation look red in this image sequence, allowing for better discrimination between different vegetation types than normal images. This is helpful when satellite data are used in agricultural monitoring for mapping and classifying land use, crop type, crop health, change detection, irrigated landscape mapping, and crop area mapping. The thematic mapper on Landsat 5 is jointly managed by NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey. ESA supports the Landsat series as a third-party mission, meaning it uses its ground infrastructure and expertise to acquire, process, and distribute Landsat data to users. Last year, ESA opened its Landsat data archives for use by the scientific community, free of charge. Well, that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. We remind you that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. You can watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.